Stormy Daniels is taking on her critics, that is, fans of President Donald Trump via Twitter.com. The contours of this fight are essentially as follows. 1. Someone sends a mean-spirited comment directly to Daniel's account. 2. Daniel's responds by quote tweeting the culprit with a snarky caption. 3. The vitriol abates for a few moments as the called-out member of the one obvious Trump fan, who goes by the handle, Deplorable Joanne, posted the following anti-worker statements directed at Daniels, writing, I find it hilarious that someone who sucks dicks for a living actually believes that anyone cares if believes what you say. You're just a pathetic whore with no value. You're as ugly on the outside as you are on the inside. To which Daniels responded, So, anyone, everyone who sucks dick is a liar? Learn something new every day, but I'm not quite convinced. Opinions? Another apparent Trump fan made a similarly abusive statement towards Daniels, at Stormy Daniels I don't get how having with a rich man, point one two years ago nonetheless, getting over 100.000 makes you think you should get more money? https colon slash slash t dot co slash ukes 2 nfu 1 hw Gross, Jill Smith, at Jillsme 56976637, March 10, 2018 Daniels quote tweeted this criticism as well, noting, show me where I've asked for money. I'd rather be, gross, showers usually fix that, than ignorant like you. Zoke 6, Daniels is not suing Trump for money. Rather, Daniels' lawsuit against Trump and Essential Consultants, LLC the shell company allegedly formed to disguise and facilitate the $130,000 hush money payment from Michael Cohen to Daniels is simply requesting a judicial declaration that the original non-disclosure agreement between the actress and the 45th president is inoperative as a matter of law because Trump allegedly never signed that agreement in the first place. Multiple other conservatives and apparent Trump supporters who attacked Daniels directly on Twitter made themselves scarce after being quote tweeted and publicly disabused of their criticism. In one by now non-existent tweet originally authored by Twitter user at Tracio 4847 Daniels adds the caption, Let me help you, honey. While a second Daniels tweet sent just a few seconds later offers a screen-captured dictionary definition of the word, irrelevant. The further back one travels on Daniel's Twitter timeline, the more once willing critics shrink away from the fight after being engaged with and mocked for their frequently misogynistic, abusive and anti-worker commentary. Here's a picture of just a few more, interspersed between the formerly brave keyboard warriors briefly taking Daniel's to task before slinking away under the spotlight as a somewhat cryptic tweet. This tweet merely reads, 